I'm Chrissy with Chrissy's Divine Design Tarot, and today we are doing a reading for Libra. All right, Libra. <laughs> Ooh, this is a little dark in here. Bring in some more lights there. That's a little better anyway. Oh, all right. Okay. <laughs> Oh my god. You think that this wouldn't be that bad. Yeah. Didn't even stick on there. Oh, there we go. I'm Chrissy with Chrissy's Divine Design Tarot, and today we have a reading for Libra. Oh yeah, Libra. All right. Ooh. Desire. Ooh, la la la. <laughs> I like it. Okay. What else for Libra? Spirit for Libra. For Libra, please. Uh, telepathy. Hmm. A strong connection you have with your soulmate or your DM or DF, which is divine masculine or divine feminine. Okay, and I did see this one, and eh, I might as well take them all. Do what you love. It's time to play. Woo! All right. So, you have a strong connection with somebody. Hmm. Your future is bright and positive. Inner song to sing. Hmm, maybe you are um, someone in uh, the arts, so maybe you're a singer. Somebody's from the past. The past is coming back. Hmm, coin toss. Two sides to every story. Choices. Hmm. Let's see. Yeah, it's not always, it's never just one side to the story. There's always two sides, and it's usually the person that's telling the story is going to usually tell people the bad things about that person. They're not going to offer up anything good if they're pissed at them, are they? <laughs> so keep that in mind when you hear a stories about people, that there's always two sides to that story. And you're only getting one side, and it's usually the worst side, um, not the worst side, but the worst things about that person that they're saying. It's never the good things, right? Well, I can't say never. Most of the time it's not. Reflect on the life lessons you have learned along the way and the things you have learned about yourself. So it's not about what somebody did to you, okay? And oh, poor May, right? <laughs> it's more of did you learn the lesson would you recognize it again if it came back around for you because the universe has a way of testing you did you learn it did you right so someone's coming back now it could be you have telepathy from this person because it's sitting right below the past to the telepathy and your desire to sing, maybe you have an inner story or an inner song. And maybe that song is going to be about your life lessons you've learned. Hmm. Let's see. What else, Spirit? What else can you tell me for oh, Libra? I saw opportunity is coming. 
All right. Opportunity is coming for Libra. Oh, yeah. Oh, I just saw prosperity is coming. <laughs> I always like those ones. All right. What do we got? Parting ways. So there is, and that is under coin toss, two sides to every story, and parting ways. So... Your opportunity is coming though. It might be from someone from the past. And it doesn't necessarily have to be love either. Hmm. Spirit is going to lead the way. You're being divinely guided to this person. And it's some type of opportunity. Yes. Oh, balance. I like it. Spirit is coming in to balance the situation. So, <laughs> you know what that means. <laughs> it's usually a tower. Oh, and it's karma. Mmm, yikes. Somebody, once you part ways with this person, they are experiencing karma. So you do not want to have any part of that karma. Because once you leave them, once you part ways with this person, they're going to receive that karma. And if you aren't, if you don't part ways with this person, the karma will be fall on you as well. And you will experience their karma right along with them. Okay? Keep that in mind. All right, what else we got? Ah, uh, the truth will be revealed. Okay? Spirit is going to lead the way, and they're going to show you the truth. They're going to balance this situation out. Okay, we got endurance, and I'm... Oh, pray. Pray to Spirit on what you want for your life. Manifest it. Ask for a wish to be granted. But you also have to have um, gratitude towards Spirit, of course. Right? And be thankful for what you already have. And what you're wanting to get is to be, um, you got to keep in mind that whatever you are desiring and manifesting, you also have to put that action behind it. You can ask till your heart's content all you want, but unless you put some action behind it, nothing will ever come of what you're asking for. You have to move towards what you're asking for, for it to come into fruition for you, right? So it says endurance, talent, expertise, pursuit of the arts. Isn't that what I said? Arts, right there. Your inner song to sing. Maybe you're gonna write a book about your life or if it's not singing, um, maybe it is to write about your life or experiences or Something you have a story inside of you of some sort, whether you sing it out or whether you write it out is up to you. I mean, that's, you know what you're good at. Spirit has a sign, 1111. Now, angel number 1111, where is that? Where's my angel number? All inter we're all interconnected, meeting somebody extremely special. So this person you're going to meet is somebody that is very special. Wow. I like that for you. Wow. <laughs> Divine karma. So karma is here for this person, but you're also going to get karma. But <clears throat> it's the divine karma. So this, to me, is saying that this is going to be good karma for you. Dharma, right? <laughs> so, I like that. Very sweet. <laughs> Let's do some tarot. Love the tarot. Hmm. Careful, somebody might be betraying you here. And it's going to be to do with this person when you part ways with them. Okay. So, that's kind of a warning to you. Alarm, alarm, right? <laughs> so be sure to take notice of that, all right? Keep an eye on this person because 
that truth will be revealed and I don't think you're going to like so much what you're going to find out about this person. Ah, uh, yeah, see, Ten of Swords is back out of here. And I mean, I pulled it up when I split the cards to shuffle and it came back out. So it's meant to be here. Whoever you're parting ways with, whether it's a love, uh, a friend, somebody that you're not you're being led away from because they are stabbing you in the back. They are betraying you and the worst type because karma was here twice. Now, the divine is going to give their own karma uh, and I think it's going to be huge, but I really like this for you because this to me is saying, Dharma, you're going to get fulfillment of whatever because you do, you, you're doing the work and you're listening to spirit and you're having blind faith to go forward not knowing where you're going right and just being in the now allowing allowing the now not worrying about the past not worrying about the future so much but concentrating on the now right page of cups have a love offer after you get over this betrayal. This, yeah, betrayal. Yep, a love offer. Yep. Take a leap of faith with the fool. Take a risk. It's going to be worth it, especially if the divine is orchestrating this. But have your boundaries. Stand your ground against anyone that does not serve you well. We have water, air, and fire here. Anything else, Spirit, for Libra? What? Okay. Yeah, somebody is a burden here. They're going to financially ruin you if they get a chance to. That could be the betrayal. Okay? Just saying. I mean, I'm only reading the cards. Don't shoot the messenger. <laughs> you know? Sometimes, uh tarot readers really get a bad rap and it's like you know we're just reading what the cards are saying you know we're not the one giving the message it's from spirit we're just channeling what spirit wants you to know right so um if you can look at it like that i mean that might help you understand how this works now the hangman is here uh, somebody's being delayed, I feel, because there's some work that needs to be done, I feel, uh, some heartbreak or, yeah, you become single, nine of pentacles there, or you see someone as single and you want to take a leap of faith and offer a cup, mm. but there is going to be competition, okay, there might be a lot of people that want to get with you or get with this person who is single whether that's you who ends up taking that leap of faith with somebody else maybe you do and you're finding you're having to stand your ground and they're becoming more of a burden so you leave them out in the cold and you wait for the one okay and this person is single but there might be some competition for this person. So, Libra, don't wait too long. Okay? Yeah, Five of Swords, okay? So, <clears throat> somebody stabbing you in the back, man. Talking shit about you. And like I said before, it's usually the people that, um, feel like they have been done wrong by, wrong by, or whatever, especially if you're the one to leave, okay? And of course they're not going to say good things about you, right? So that would be taking the high road. <laughs> and when they're low energy people, they don't know what the high road is, okay? But you do. Take the high road. Definitely take the high road. Let's see. Let's Let's find out what the Ten of Swords is about, please, Spirit. Can we clarify the Ten of Swords? Okay. Mm -hmm. You get a victory here. 
even though you get betrayed, okay, you're going to have a victory in the end because something's going to happen here. I just feel it. What's the Page of Cups? You see this person as a star. Maybe they have a platform. Maybe they are in the public. Um, maybe they're recognized publicly. Maybe they um, have a following or something along those lines, okay? You have hope, anyways. If nothing else, and they're, no, they're not on a channel or any of those things, you have high hopes that this is your person, okay? Because that big star there above their head, yeah. All right, let's see. The Fool. The Fool, please, Spirit. What do we have with the Fool? Ah, yes. You're closing out a cycle so you can have a new beginning, okay? So we're going to close out the cycle from this person that did you wrong and betrayed you. Standing your ground. What's the Seven of Wands? Yeah. You're leaving this person behind. You're, maybe you're moving because you've closed this out and you want to have a new cycle with somebody. But you gotta, you got to stand your ground and part ways. This is your parting ways here. Okay? Let's see. What's the burden? What's the Ten of Wands? Queen of Cups. You see this person as very loving. Or you are. Maybe you're coming out in your feminine side, even if you are a male. We all have male, um, masculine, and feminine sides to each and every one of us, right? So, and that's what we're picking up on is the energy, okay? And depending on how you come out, you might be in your mas masculine side or your feminine side. So, just keep that in mind when, um, when I say she or he, it could be roles reversed, okay? All right, so we have feeling like they missed out on something here with the Five of Pentacles uh, because they're out in the cold. Could be this person experienced that, that somebody in their life was a burden and they felt they lost an opportunity and was put out in the cold by someone else. Well, I guess it could have been you, but you know your story, whether you broke up with somebody and they didn't have somewhere to live and you kind of abandoned them or left them out in the cold to fend for themselves or whatever the case, you know? Um, but you left this person in any case, okay? And you're just biding your time here with this Nine of Pentacles, you're single, or you see someone else as single. Mm. Yeah, there's chaos going on in your life right now because of this person and your parting ways, okay? Yeah, they're gonna, they might give you a hard time here. What's the Nine of Pentacles? Ah, the Queen of Pentacles. Success. You know? success and willing to go out on a limb for you okay five of wands what's the conflict mm. somebody's fighting over a pentacle being offered here somebody wants to give your queen of pentacles a pentacle and there might be competition here and it might be hard to bide your time because uh, you might have to get in there quickly or someone else is going to take your girl <laughs> or your guy, right? So they're just showing up in their feminine side. So it doesn't matter if they're masculine or not, right? So what's on the bottom of the deck? Ah, death to the situation when it comes to the Five of Swords and somebody's stabbing you in the back. Yeah, they're toxic. The devil in reverse. Third party. Okay, yeah, and King of Wands here in reverse. Okay, 
What's coming in quickly? News about finances and love. You already made your choice. <laughs> the Empress, look at you go. Yeah, and this Queen of Pentacles, I think is you. No regrets about moving on. <laughs> Ten of Pentacles, what? Wow, that's awesome. There's your Dharma, man. <laughs> Sweet! <laughs> I like it for you. I do. I think that's awesome. Awesome, awesome. <laughs> and you're going to take your time to get to know this person. It's not that you're breadcrumbing them or anything like that. You're just... Um, you're just taking it slow. Right? To make sure that this is the one or... You know, but whoever is stabbing you in the back there, there it's going to end. That will end. They will get their karma, okay? You have talents. You have expertise. You're going to pursuit. You're going to be in pursuit of the arts. So whatever that means to you. But there will be death to that situation, so... Let's see, what time are we at? Okay, we got a little bit more time. All right, let's see what the romance angels have to say for you. That was fast. All right, anything spirit, anything else you want for Libra? Messages for Libra, messages for Libra. Release your ex. <laughs> That's what popped up. Uh -huh. Any of the messages, please, Spirit, for Libra, for Libra, any other messages for Libra? Okay. Bottom of the deck, you deserve love, you are lovable. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got. So we have, straight off, release your ex, okay? The time has come to clear your energy. Call back your energy, okay? Forgiving and learning. So whatever it is this person did to you, it's not so much what they did, it's about what did you learn from it? And would you recognize it again if it came back around, right? Universe has a way of testing people, <laughs> right? So as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments, okay? So don't bring that with you, that um, anger and resentment, leave that behind as you move forward, okay? Recognize it for what it was, that you would know yourself to recognize it again if it came your way, okay? And what you would do in that case if you saw it again. Would you go ahead and do it again or would you have those boundaries put in place right away. Right? All right. Getting to know each other. All right. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. I like it. Religious factors. Okay. So this person might be religious, um, maybe not so much spiritual or vice versa. Um, your love life, love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. Oh, what happened there? Huh, something just happened with my computer. <laughs> it was like weird, very weird. Huh, interesting. Okay. Love yourself first, okay? Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Somebody that has self-respect, they know who they are and aren't afraid to be authentic, that, that kind of person is very attractive, right? There's no codependency, no clinging on, 
none of that that's you're working together with that person and you both have the same goal in mind you're trying to get to the same place and you're working together to do that and that is a beautiful relationship if you can find that okay so but it all starts with loving yourself first you can't possibly love someone else until you love yourself first right now it does say pay attention to the red flags the signs are cautioning you and i don't feel it's about this person um that's you're meant to be with i think this is maybe going to be a test to see if they see what happens is the devil's going to send in somebody to try to get you away from your path okay and that is when it comes back around and are you going to see those red those red flags right so and that's over the karma so it might be this person comes back and says oh you know I'm much better or blah 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 and I've worked on myself yada 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 <sighs> pay attention to the red flags okay and don't forget what you learned from that experience right okay let's see what else we got ah yes now since the divine is intervening here on your behalf let's find out what your tele your telepathic person wants to tell you okay oh wow <laughs> okay i'm not taking all of them but i did see the passion the new beginning and manifesting miracles okay so those ones i will take uh there as well i'll take these ones because they were kind of on their own and not in a big group so let's see what else we got here we have beware of what you're projecting okay for the qualities you admire in one another are qualities you both possess equally so the qualities you don't like are also <laughs> your own reflection so you're gonna mirror this person and that tells me that this could be a twin flame union okay which is if you don't know what twin flame is about you should look that up because uh it's quite the dynamic uh you don't always end up with your twin it's a tough one to uh maneuver <laughs> sometimes because it's funny how you may see yourself being reflected back and it's like oh i do that is that what that looks like oh I'm, I'm not doing that again okay i see what i was doing and why i was doing it and you might learn a little bit about yourself that you maybe didn't know by just having this mirroring that comes into effect you're going to learn about a lot about yourself and your person okay there's passion here though a magnet and seductive quality surrounds you at the present enjoy it that is indicative of a twin flame as well okay where there's a very huge energy between the two and <clears throat> and a lot of the time why there's that runner chaser is because it is so powerful and um a lot of people have friend zones because they're too afraid of it they're too scared of what they feel for that person okay and i'm not i'm not talking just this puppy dog <laughs> kind of love either it is like a force pulling you to that person and the runner chaser part is where the person gets scared okay of what they're feeling it's so powerful and so intense okay so that passion is something that is undeniable and it is a new beginning for you so you may not know this person okay a new adventure awaits embrace it and live your dreams passionately so a lot of passion going on here <laughs> i love it whoops <laughs> Wow, romance. Cupid's arrow strikes. I love it. Ah so you are going to be hit with that arrow, and I'm not kidding you. 
you are going to um, have this undeniable pull to be around this person. You, it's such a magnetic pull. Um, like I said, a lot of people are so afraid of that connection. They friend zone each other. It's too powerful. It's too scary for some. Okay? So you have to really be um, understanding what a twin flame journey is all about. And you don't always end up with that twin. Okay? Um, in a lot of cases, they don't end up together. But the people that do and can handle that dynamic and aren't afraid of that love and they embrace it, wow, what a connection that is. Like that is your best life, you know, your best friend, the person you can absolutely count on who's not going to do you wrong because if they do, essentially they're doing themselves wrong because you're the twin. So whatever happens to you happens to them and you can't treat your twin badly because karma, holy shit, talk about karma. So keep that in mind. Um, don't uh, hurt your twin because you'll only be hurting yourself in the end. And that is another reason why so many people are afraid of the twin flame journey. Look it up if you want and get some insight on what the twin flame journey is all about because it's very knowledgeable of, and you learn so much about yourself from this person because you mirror them so much, okay? And it's like almost like you are looking in a mirror except for that person is the opposite sex. Or, I mean, they could be the same sex, like, I'm not differentiating any way, shape, or form. I'm all for that. I mean, to each their own, as far as I'm concerned. So, but I think I'm going to leave it here for you, Libra. I'm really liking this for you. You got a little bit of work going on there, but after you get past that, damn, you got some shit going down. I mean, pentacles are coming. You might have to have... Um, you might have this twin flame journey to serve a purpose, okay, for God. You know, it might be a purpose that you're meant, why you were born. You were born for this purpose. This was what you were brought to earth for, okay. And if you end up with that flame, twin flame or um, divine soulmate in some cases, it may not necessarily be a twin flame, but... If it is that divine connection, it's going to be magical for you, okay? So I'm going to leave it there, Libra. Share, like, and subscribe, please, and we will see you next time. Later. <laughs>